Hello, lovely people, and welcome to the Frostbite MLP Horror AU. So, it's a little bit of a long series, but uh, we're going to go through it anyway, because why the heck not? Absolutely, we love to do that here. So, without further ado, we are going to jump right on in. Here's a potion I made to fix your cold. That's gonna end badly, I already know it. <laughs> Knowing the title, it's called Frostbite. Somehow this is gonna plague and plunge everything into a winter wasteland. What did you do to my sister, Twilight? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Give her maggots and horrible skin lesions and necrosis? Yeah, I mean, I purposely wouldn't intentionally do that to somebody myself. That This is a huge accident. <clears throat> I'm sure Celestia will understand that you turned her into a maggot hive. <clears throat> Hello, this is an emergency broadcast instructed from Princess Luna. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. A new virus has been discovered in Equestria. The virus is a worm-like parasite that wants to take over your body. Take over control of your body. <laughs> it can either be spread through bites from other infected, or drinking any liquid that the virus is contained contaminated or whatever. The virus has only recently been discovered, so not much is known about its later stages. Here are the symptoms discovered so far. Stage 1 includes Extreme headache Struggling to sleep Bruising patches on skin and feeling itchy around the bruised areas. Extreme fear and discomfort of fire. Stage 2 of the virus starts after 3 days after infection. The symptoms include... <laughs> extreme aggression towards others. Paranoid thoughts and extreme anxiety. Dangerous and out of character behavior. Puking out the parasites. Not much is known about stage 3. Or... If there is any other stage after that, it starts four to five days after the infection begins. Previously bruised areas will now begin to bleed. At this stage, ponies will begin to bite and attack others, spreading the infection. Not much is known about this terrible parasite at this point in time, but please stay inside, stay isolated, don't let any pony in for any reason. Check your water or any drink you have before swallowing. If you know any pony that is infected, kill them. The pony responsible for this virus is Twilight Sparkle. Once the element of magic, she is wanted for her crime. If you see this pony, Hand her in alive so she can be hanged and you will be rewarded. Thank you for watching this warning and good luck. You <laughs> we will update you once we have discovered more symptoms. Oh my god, straight to the rope, huh? There is no hope. No, there is hope. My bad. Hold on. I'm going to go back a little bit so folks can hear this a lot better.
there was Princess Luna something something chose her subjects. No, chose her sister over her subjects. Something something. There is no God, there is no hope. That was weird. Interesting though. I like that. Good 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 second slide. I'll do whatever it takes to cure you, sister. I promise. Uh, I should promise her that with a 9mm in your hand. Frostbite. Arc 1. The infection spreads. Frostbite. Main 6 status. Ooh. Applejack. Black guy from fighting off an infected Granny Smith. I have to protect my sister. I won't let anything happen to you. I promise. Muddy hooves. Status. Currently on the run from the infected with Apple Bloom. <clears throat> so Granny Smith's sick. Rainbow Dash. Come with me. You'll be safe. We need to leave now. Status bumped into Applejack and Apple Bloom and are staying in her shelter. Fluttershy, I don't want to end up alone. I need to escape with my animals. Status running away into the Everfree Forest to keep her animals safe. Rarity, red eye due to lack of sleep. Patches of itchy skin, bite mark. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Rarity's infected. No, no, this isn't happening. I'm not infected. I can't be. Status is infected and is in complete denial about it. Pinkie Pie, please don't go. I don't want to be alone. Status having a mental breakdown after all her friends left her. Twilight Sparkle. Status. Missing. Dude, it, it, is, is Apple Bloom a vampire? Does she have that night sight? I guess, technically, I think I would, I should be saying werewolf instead. Because don't werewolves have glowing eyes versus vampires? I get, obviously, it all depends on what genre you're talking about. Thank you, Jake. You can put those thoughts away. We'll, we'll shoo, 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 shoo. Stay, get back to the story. Granny, Big Mac, I just needed to borrow. Granny? Oh, Granny. Oh, God. That. <gasps> She's eating Big Mac. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. That's freaking Big Mac down here. That's his eyeball. Oh my god. Granny Smith's got that fighting spirit. Granny Smith. Bloodshot eyes due to lack of sleep. Rotting mouth where the virus is attacking. Bite mark where the virus got in. Status. Infected is in the third stage of the virus. Big Mac. Parasites are eating his remains. Status. Dead. Eaten alive by Granny Smith. Oh, he's just ahead now. Well, you could say he's ahead of the game then, huh? I'm sorry, Big Mac. I should have <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Bad joke. I don't know why, but the start of this one always reminds me of like the 28 Days Later theme, but it's not. I don't know what it is about this song. That was Mata Kind of Rainbow bringing us here. Angie, what if one of us is sick like Granny was? Don't talk like that. I won't let anything happen to you. 
Rainbow says she had some food in here. I'll get something for you. Oh, don't leave it. Don't leave her. Don't leave her. She's crying. She's miserable. She's a child. You have to protect it. You must comfort it. It doesn't know any better. It's scared. <gasps> oh, you crafty devil. You sneaky grandma. Oh, please. Yeah, honestly, though, we got to amputate. We need to cut it off right now. Get rid of that sucker. You know what? No, Apple Bloom, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine, darling. Listen, listen, listen. Apple Bloom, calm down. Listen to me. You're going to be okay. We are going to get you help, all right? I don't care if it's the last thing we do in the next three months. We're doing it. We're going to get you care. No matter the cost. No matter. Poor Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom don't deserve that. I'm not. The Crystal Kingdom is lit an outside ponus in to try from the virus. We should go there. Not sure who's talking. I think that might have been uh, Rainbow Dash, but AJ's is the one with the open mouth. And oh, if you look closely, you can see the little uh, patches of skin. I forgot what they called it. I don't know if they said bruising or what. I'm sorry, every pony, but I can't let my daughter get infected, too. She's got blood on her face. My god, there's blood everywhere. Dude. Da -da 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 -da. Somebody's got to protect the children. I will take on the mantle of responsibility. Protect the little ones. Oh, shining armor. Oh my god, dude. The maggots. Gotta be maggots. I just love worms crawling inside me like a big flesh hive. I absolutely love it. Let all the worms, let all the insects lay their eggs inside me. Because that's exactly what this looks like. And that is an extremely cursed sentence I said, but my god, it's like every, every AU is like that. It's horrible. You know, hold the love part, of course, but my god, poor shining armor. I swear, whatever happened up here means uh, Cadence is probably infected. There has to be some blood in those worms. Uh, well, worms in that blood, I suppose. Shining Armor status, dead, was killed by Cadence to protect Flurry Heart after he got infected. To project for, to protect. Dang, you know what? At least his death was noble. Princess Cadence, Shining Armor's blood, scars from fighting Shining Armor. In shock, she just killed her husband and has closed off her kingdom to anyone. Dude, Rainbow Dash and Applejack be like, yeah, we could go to the Crystal Empire. I hear they're letting any pony inside immediately the next minute. Yeah, sorry everyone, we're closing the door. God, what a punch to the face. No, no, double click. I, I saw that. Hold on, just to make sure. Okay. I don't want to overstep. I need to find food for us before we travel to the Crystal Kingdom. Luna must sure be busy. She hasn't lowered the moons in days. With an S? You mean there's more than one? It's getting dark. So dark, it's frozen out here. Hopefully she'll send out news to Everpona soon about what to do. No way. Is that? Fluttershy. Oh my gosh, branches from the Everfree Forest, frozen from snow. Dude, honestly, this status isn't unknown. It's battle-hardened. Fluttershy's been through hell, it looks like. She's ready for war. Gosh. She looks not infected, though. Just probably a little bashed up. F Fluttershy? 
Applejack? Sweet Celestia, it's really you. Where have you been, Flutters? I've been in the Everfree with Sakura and some other ponies. We have food and water and we can give you that we can give you if you aren't infected. Uh oh, dark side. Mm. Yes, it seems Apple Bloom is probably having a grand feast over this what looks to be a corpse, and that's indefinitely a mouth, that's definitely an eye socket. I believe Rainbow Dash is probably now a member of the deceased. That is very unfortunately. Or she's just she's just feeling a little quirky because it's it's been night for so long, you know, the darkness is really getting to her. Um, you know, Apple Bloom is probably okay. Nothing bad happened. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's getting worse. It's biting her lip. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Out of my head. Out of my head. Hey, Apple Bloom, are you all right? Apple Bloom? Apple Bloom, what are you doing? G get, get away from me. Get the fuck away from me. We know what happened as that one last slide from the, you know, last post. So it was AJ. It wasn't somebody else. I, I saw a scream for a second. Oh, God, that is not, that's not good. Apple Bloom, Rainbow, I found Flutters. She has somewhere safe where we can stay for a while. Sweet Celestia. Guys, help me, please. I don't want to die. Oh my god, dude. What? Apple Bloom is like devouring Rainbow with in like one bite, dude. Oh my god. Dude, she's got the whole freaking wing. Apple Bloom is hungry. Oh. Dude, Apple Bloom straight up ripped off her whole wing and is now eating that sucker. I think I might see some, like, frothing. Might have a bad case of the rabies. Dude, poor Rainbow, though. I always imagine, like, seeing those scenarios in movies and crud. How you are still alive, even though something horrible is happening to you. You're being eaten alive or something, like on a dinner table and whatnot. It's just awful that you're you're still feeling everything happen. Oh, they did save Rainbow, thank God. Okay. Will Rainbow be okay? Your friend will live. She will have to get used to not flying when she wakes up. Her wing was infected, but it was ripped off before it could spread. Oh, it's not a rhyming Zakora. And Applejack? She will need time alone to grieve. I, I, I don't know. I packed the reality of what happened to her sister. What she did was not an easy thing to do. Apple Bloom, status. You may rest, poor child. Where you are is better than here. Oh, seven. Salute. You will be missed, child. I failed to protect you. Nah, I'm just kidding. This isn't the canon Apple Bloom. Nothing bad happens to real Apple Bloom. This is a fake, obviously. Whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so loud. So, whatever this is, I'm guessing is what they're 
just singing, I guess. Spirit of Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom, I'm sorry. I patched you to black eyes swelling too much. I could have saved you. I'm sorry. Status is distraught over her sister's death. Oh, that is indeed snow, blizzard. <laughs> hey, Scootaloo, you all right? Just worried about Rainbow. Got the Minecraft torch wall? All right, I respect it. I respect it. We got some crafters over here. Oops, sorry, I was too mesmerized by the Minecraft torches that I just kept sliding forward with this. Rainbow will be fine when she wakes up. When this is all over, I'm sure some pony can help her fly again. She lost her frickin' wing. Yeah, you're right. We can make, like, a cool robot wing. Okay. I understand now, Scootaloo, you clever little devil. What the hell is that? Is that rarity? Why does it look like she has... Worms? Frostbite. I think something's probably wrong with Rarity, I'm just saying. I don't think she's doing alright. I think she's going down under. I think the snowstorm's uh, really getting to her. Those worms are strong. Those worms are strong, crud. I need to find Rarity. Mom and Dad are gone. I have no idea where my friends are. She's all I have now. Sis? Is that you? S Sweetie Belle, p please help me. Oh, God. Dude, Rarity would be freaking out about this crud. For real. Absolutely. Worms on her dang head, dude. That would be making me cry. That would suck. I can feel them chew on my flesh. Oh, no, oh, dude. They just need a new home. That's all, you know. They just need a new home. That, that, that's it. They just uh, need a little place to call their own. Awful. Part 16. Okay. So now I have to switch. I actually have to tab out of this. I I did prepare this a little bit. So part 16. When the parasite spread, Princess Luna gathered the best doctors to help her in finding a cure. One pony Princess Luna chose was Nurse Redheart. These are the written voice blogs she made. Blog, blog one. Hello, I am Nurse Red Heart. <laughs> no, you I are the analog horror monster. Herself to accompany her and other doctors and nurses like myself to help cure the parasite across Equestria. We haven't even decided on a specific name for the parasite, but many ponies outside call it frostbite due to how the infected look. I have decided to take it upon myself to write a blog for future historians to These are fat subtitles. Equestria's history to overcome any future disasters like this. The first known victim was our beloved Princess Celestia. She became infected when her best student former Princess Twilight Sparkle made a potion for her. Somehow the parasite managed to get into the potion. And then she spread it to her guards. And then they spread it to other ponies. Yikes. You can get the idea from there. It is currently unknown whether Twilight infected her former teacher on purpose. Either way, Princess Luna has ordered for arrest and eventual death. Twilight Sparkle is currently missing at the time of this recording. When she is found, I will update to tell you listeners about it. At the start of the pandemic, Princess Cadence would let outside ponies into the Crystal Empire since the parasite hadn't gotten there yet. However, not long after she closed her kingdom for good, 
The neighboring lands of Equestria will not let us cross under any circumstances. They will kill on sight whether you are infected or not. Oh, how lovely. We do not want the parasite spreading to their lands. It might yeah. seem like we have no hope, but we do. We have Princess Luna who is doing everything she Princess can. Princess Lulu! Sleep, or eat, or even rise the sun or moon. She is determined to find a cure. Go Lulu! And the rest of the doctors here. As long as we have hope, we have a chance. Blog 2. Hello, it asks me Nurse Red Heart again. It has been a month since my last written blog. I apologize for being away so long. A lot has happened in the past weeks. But we have also discovered a lot about the parasite. Before I give the details I want to remind you of how you can get infected. Currently there are three known ways. First way is through getting bitten from an infected. Second way is through drinking any liquid that contains the virus. And the third way is the parasite getting into your body through open wounds. Hmm. Now that you know how you can get infected, here is some new information about the stages of the parasite. Stage 1 Starts after you get infected. Extreme headaches. Struggle to sleep. Itchy dark patches on skin. Extreme fear and discomfort of fire. And nosebleeds. Here is a picture of a stage 1 infected pony we captured. I don't see it. Oh, God. What are you doing to him? What are you doing to Lemonheart? He remembered, as will the rest of the infected we tested on. Stage 2 Starts three days after infection. Paranoid thoughts and anxiety. Dangerous and out of character behavior. And throwing up the parasites. That as the body as attempt at getting rid of the parasite, mm -hmm. it will not work. Here yep. Is a picture of lemon hearts in stage two. Oh, fun, dude! Y'all would like torture and lemon hearts. Oh, great! No, oh, they look a little worse. A oh, lot of worm puddles. Starts four to five days after infection. Urge to bite others and attack others. This is when ponies start biting. Random spasms. Loss of control of body. Extreme aggression towards others. Patch ass on skin will begin to bleed. Main area is the mouth. We believe the parasite focuses its attacks there in the early stages to help spread faster. Here is a picture of lemon hearts and stage 3. Stage 4. She told me she would cure me. That yeah. she would save me. I don't agree. She I don't... I believe it. The creatures under my skin. Uh huh. They are very hungry. Yep. I must feed them. Oh. Oh, there you go. The worm mother. Oh, feed the children. Feed the worm buddies. Starts two weeks after infection. Any consciousness that the pony two weeks? Will be Excuse me. Completely gone. Infected pony will be unrecognizable due to most of their flesh haven been mm. eaten. Infected mm. will be extremely slow. Most likely will be blind or deaf or both. The infected will still be extremely dangerous. For lucky both. This. Here is a picture of lemon hearts in stage four. <laughs> she looks like a pepperoni pizza gone bad. Stage five starts a month after infection. At this stage the body cannot keep going due most of the flesh have been eaten by the parasite. The victim of the infection will finally be allowed to rest. At this stage, they are nothing but a corpse. However, they are more contagious than the infected that are alive. If near an infected corpse, keep six feet away. Six feet. The parasites will try to jump on you and jump your skin. Here is a picture of lemon hearts in stage. Five. You're telling me those worms can jump now? Oh, 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 the worm blob. That is all the information I bet have discovered. I will update when we have more information. That is cursed. Thank you for listening. Block three. Hello, this is Nurse Red Heart. Sup, Red Heart? A huge discovery. 
Mm. In the early stages of the infection, the infected will develop a huge fear and discomfort of fire. Right. We discussed this. Found out very useful information. Okay. Maybe even a potential cure. The reason the parasite hates anything hot is because it thrives hog. in the cold. And it knows this. The weather outside is mm. always small and as the lizards are common. This is because Princess Luna has refused to do any of her or Princess Celestia's soul duties. She claims that finding the cure is much more important. But this has big consequences. Yeah. Because the princess refuses to lower the moon without the sun. Did somebody go yell at Lulu real quickly? The blizzards. And because the infected spent the majority of their time wandering around outside in the cold, it freezes them and hardens their flesh. Oh, meaning it takes longer great. for the parasite to eat the victim's flesh. Also meaning it has more time to spread. Yep. This is a just a guess from the test results I got today. No, I believe it, Red Heart. Temperatures the victim's body can only last up to a month. But according to my calculations, the victim's body in the weather outside can survive for up to a year. A I year. encouraged Princess Luna to rise the sun, but she lashed out again. I don't he mean to speak ill of the princess. Nah, dude. She lashes out at any pony for anything. There's a certain point under pressure, but so where your I actions just seem stupid. And Luna has crossed the line with this information that we have learned. Or even rests. I thought that because she was an alicorn and not a normal pony, she didn't he need the things we do. But maybe a nap at least will do her some good. I also think that the parasite no. is extremely smart and can evolve quickly. I think it might also even have a hive mind of some sorts. Yikes. Blog number four. I don't usually make two blogs in the same day, but I don't know what to do. I just discovered... <laughs> Get to work! Princess Luna. I know this is supposed to be a blog about finding the cure, but I don't know who else to talk to. When I said in the That's last true. Blog, We're here to listen. Luna may need a nap. I followed her so I could tell her and maybe suggested she rest and let us handle finding the cure on our own for a day. But I discovered something I don't think I was meant to see. Princess Celestia was the first ever infected Yep, victim. and you found her and trapped in the basement? Us she has been keeping her alive and locked up until we find the cure. Okay. I thought, because Princess Celestia was an alicorn that the parasite infected her differently. But I was wrong. Uh oh. Princess Luna has been keeping her sister. She found the secret. Magic. I am an earth pony and don't know much about magic. But I know it's Nobody is safe. Use for thousands of years for a reason. When we do find the cure and when we use it on Celestia, the effects of the dark magic used on her might still leave its effect on her even without the parasite being a problem anymore. It feels wrong. Very wrong. Maybe I should talk to the doctors about this before confronting Princess Luna. If we even do. Blog number five. One of these red hearts gonna be screwed up and friends and colleagues. I told the talented doctor Hooves and Nurse Snow Heart about what Princess Luna has been doing. I knew Nurse Snow Heart from working with her in the past. Snow Heart. And Dr. Hooves and me have had past conversations about Princess Luna's behavior. So I trusted them. After I told them about what I saw, it took a while to convince them. But with the way Princess Luna acts sometimes, they believed me eventually. We then decided we would be talk to Princess Luna about our thoughts. If she didn't stop treating us the way she does, we will leave and find the cure on our own. When we talked with True. Princess Luna, I thought it would go horribly wrong. But it didn't he. Princess Luna sat down with us and poured us a bottle of Equestria's finest wine. Oh, it's she spiked, wasn't it? How much she misses her sister. And apologies for how she acts sometimes. I guess being a princess... I don't believe it. I think, I think it's rigged. My discovery, princess she Luna spiked it, didn't she? Sister alive with cold spells instead of dark magic. It was nice getting to know this side of the princess. Uh, the nope. Very nope. 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 Is not much of a drinker. Princess Luna didn't he drink the wine either. Tomorrow we will get back to finding the cure with better. Luna wine. didn't even drink the wine. Feel hopeful about the future. Nah, dude, she's infected. We Celestia. I am infected. Hmm. Yep. That's what I waited for to hear. I ran away like a coward. I left my friends behind. To die to that monster that calls herself the princess. Mm. Of course it was a trap. 
I am so gullible and stupid. Oh, no you're not, Red Heart. You, you have one of the hardest jobs out there. Hello. It is me, Miss Red Heart. This will be my last written vlog. Ever. The morning after our talk with Luna. I developed itchy hives and, and a nasty headache. I recognized these as the symptoms for the frostbite parasite. I didn't he think I had it at first. I was in denial. I have no bites. And have come nowhere near the dead bodies of me. Well, you drank them. Until I spoke with Nurse Snowheart. She also had Snowheart. Bites, but didn't he seem to suspect anything. That, s when I made a connection. The line Luna gave us. I am yep. it. And found fragments of the parasite. Yep. Mm -hmm. that infected us. She had to. She didn't he drink the wine. Yep. Mm, yep. Telling yep. Others, I ran. All I red ran flags. All red flags. Infected. At the time, I was confused why they didn't. Red heart. The red flagometer was so high. I realize now that they probably knew I was infected. That proves my hive mind theory at least. I ran away two weeks ago. The parasite should have taken over by now. But because of the weather and drugs oh, I it's cold outside. myself with, I've been able to keep in control. But I know I won't be able to, after tonight. I can barely write these down without my boots shaking. My skin burns. I can feel them. Trying to bite through my skull for control. Skull? It's a shame, really. There is a lot I wanted to do. That's gotta really hurt. I've always wanted to have a family. Oof. Explore places I have never been Sorry, Red Heart. Family. Grow old. Now that will never happen. Yikes. I hope Dr. Hoops got out somehow. He didn't drink the wine. He could warn the world about what Luna has been doing. I am sorry I wasn't able to find a cure. But I have information that could help to whoever finds this. The parasite hates heat. Burn any bites you have. It might save you. Even if it burns you. It has a better fate than the one that's already planned for you. I listened to the first written vlog I ever made. I sounded so hopeful. I will leave this tape 10 feet away from my body. Since I know my body could easily get you infected. If you want to know what my last words are. What? What? Oh, you mean the tape. There is no hope. There is no God. Oh! We are alone. <laughs> okay. She, she, she gave up. Okay. Well. That was disturbing. Okay, back to this! Oh, hold on, I have to go... I have to tab out. Boop. There we go. Do, do, do. What's this? Yeah, that was pretty good. I like busting into that. Sad, but... Yeah. I can't believe I thought I was gonna find the cure. Oh well, it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters now. I was dead the second I walked into that castle. Please don't hurt me. I need to warn every pony what Princess Luna, that monster, is doing. Why would you call the princess a monster? Dr. Hooves, is that you? Love the Minecraft torch. Hooves frozen from snow, running from Princess Luna looking for help. <laughs> this one, this episode's called Angst. Hey, AJ, it's been a while since we talked. No, no voices, be gone voices. I know you know what Dr. Hooves told Zakora, and you know what Luna has been doing. We need to do something about it. You, me, and Flutters are the only known alive users of the Elements of Harmony. Every pony is looking at us to help them. What's the point? We don't have anything to fight for. It's not like they do either. Applejack, I'm sorry for what happened with... You're sorry? 
For what, Rainbow? You haven't done anything. It's not like you were useless when the granny who raised you and your sibling ate your brother's insides. It's not like you didn't notice your own sister was infected. It's not like one of your best friends could have died if you didn't make it in time. It's not like you smashed your sister's brains out with your own hooves. AJ. Fuck off, Rainbow Dash. You don't understand loss. You don't even like your family. I can still feel her blood splashing on my face. You don't think I understand loss. Uh-oh. Look at me, AJ. Look at me. Look at my wing. It's gone, AJ. Gone. Uh, I still feel more bad for AJ, though. Just because you lost a wig doesn't mean you didn't smash your your sister's brains in. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Rainbow Dash. I, I'm not sure. I think one of you might have had it a little worse than a little amputation. Oh, God. Flying was everything to me. It was my first love. It made me how I am. It gave me purpose. It was my life. It was how I lived. Now I have no purpose. Rainbow, I, I'm sorry. The princesses took our lives away. Now we need to take theirs. I only have you, AJ. Please, I don't want to do this without you. Oh, it's so adorable. The angst is real, but the love is so sweet. Wholesome. Wholesome, wholesome, wholesome. <sighs> so loud. <laughs> Hold on. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah, we leave it there. Are you sure you want to do this, Rainbow? There's no shame in saying no. Thanks for worrying, but I'll be fine. It's me, Rainbow Dash, after all. Besides, I have AJ and Scoots with me. We'll see each other again soon. Come on, y'all. Zakor and the others are waiting for us, Rainbow. There you two are. I don't approve of you going, but I wish you all luck. Love that they got the Minecraft torches out. Mad respect. Honestly, I love, I love all of this. This is all super cute. The outfits and everything is adorable. Remember, all five of you must take care of each other. You are not safe out there like you are here. Make sure you have fire with you at all times. We know, Zikora. We are gonna fix all of this. We promise. Dang, dude. That hits hard. Whoa, Rainbow. Look at the sky. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it is. Rainbow, do you think we can actually get enough ponies to join our cause? Just got a little squiggly hair. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna make those princesses pay. Nine months later. I read, I'm sorry, sometimes my eyes glance over, very rarely do they glance over, and I read that as like, nine months, god dang it, nine freaking months? <laughs> we know what that means. Rarity! Rarity, it's that time again, it seems. I'm just kidding. Hello, Twilight, are you there? What the? This isn't Twilight's castle. Holy cow! This is Derpy speaking. Some pony just walked out of the mirror. Princess Twilight had. Dude, I don't... I don't like that Derpy looks like a... Uh, a certain group. This looks bad. This doesn't look good. <laughs> this, this outfit fashion sense doesn't look good. Come on, follow me. If you think about running, I will get you. Oh my god, complete cosmetic change. No way, is that? 
Rainbow Dash? Oh, never mind. Dang. Rainbow Dash over here representing the US of A. Wild, wild, wild. <laughs> For anyone who wanted to make the next part, I just have life outside of her. You know what? Fair. Completely mad respect. I understand. I get it. Ooh. Mmm. Listen to some sick beats here. This is my jam. And social psychology. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry, I just had to listen. I haven't listened to it in a while now. I had to, <laughs> I had to listen. I love listening to that. Classic. Classic, classic. Hello? What's going on here? Where's Princess Twilight? I do the talking here. Who are you, and how were you able to walk through that mirror? Soul power. Dude, Rainbow Dash became like the leader of the Tunnel Snakes, it seems. I'm Sunset Shimmer. I'm an old friend of Twilight. She hasn't responded to my notes in months. I wanted to see if she's okay. What happened here? What do you mean you don't know what happened? Every pony knows what happened. Soul power. I don't live here. I used to, but I left. Wait, I know who you are. You're the one who stole Twilight's old crown. Soul power. Yes, but we're friends now. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just want to make sure Twilight's okay. Is Twilight hiding in your world? Do you know where she is? Soul power. If she was, I would know. Do none of you know where Twilight is? No pony knows what happened to the former princess. She disappeared after the outbreak. Soul power. I'm not, I, I, yeah, I know it's annoying, but I'm doing it anyway, because I can. Wait, former princess? Outbreak? Okay, what the fuck is going on here? Where is Twilight? Why are we underground? And why are you wearing those weird bandanas? She's a tunnel snake. I'm Rainbow Dash. I'm the leader of the Alicorn Hunters. After the princesses abandoned us and the storms came, me and my friends built this group. Others joined, and now we are in Empire and Equestria's last hope. Soul power. The Alicorn Hunters? Why would you want to hunt them? Because they started this. It's their fault they created the parasite and left us to deal with it. Soul power. Honestly, that's interesting, though. If, uh, there was a crusade led against all the alicorns in crud, that would be wild. Seeing them as, like, freaks or monsters and stuff for the way they are. And then that somehow scared everybody and they would want to exterminate them. No, Twilight wouldn't let the alicorns do this. Oh, you fool. Twilight was the one who created the virus. Soul power. No, there's no way. She wouldn't... Silence, mere freak. Soul power. <laughs> now you can either tell us how that mirror works and do as you're told, or I will make every pony in Equestria want your head. Soul power. Your choice, mere freak. Ooh. Dang, dude. Dashes. Out for blood. Wild. That was good. I enjoyed that. That was a fun little, little short excursion. 
Wow. Wow. I actually like that. That was actually very good. I, I, I actually really enjoyed that. I'm going to go ahead, leave the creators, uh, TikTok and YouTube in the description down below. So you folks can go check both of those things out and I will catch you folks in the next one.